YouTube, this is Z-Man, your host today, and today what we're going to be going over is some ramping speed in Final Cut Pro or FCPX. This is the latest build of Final Cut Pro, so first of all, what y'all need to do is go out there and shoot your video, and then once you get that shot and done, come back in here and we will get you down and rolling on how to ramp some speed in Final Cut Pro. Speed ramping, that's what it's all about right there. So get your video that you want to ramp the speed of, or speed ramp, however you want to call it, and you're going to import it into your Final Cut Pro event or project. So once you get it into your project or event, you're going to go ahead and drag it down into the timeline, and then what you're going to do is you want to cut the section out you want to be speed ramped. What speed ramping is, is it goes you know, it's playing normal speed and all of a sudden it slows down to super slow and then speeds right back up to normal speed. <clears throat> so this would be like if you want to do like a golf shot or if you want to do like, I don't know, say you're shooting some clay pigeons and you want a, some epic shot of where you can see it just slowly busting and then speeding back up and the pieces flying everywhere real fast. However you want to do it. Or you can have it, you know, gradually speed up real fast and then slow back down to normal speed <clears throat> it doesn't matter whatever you want to do so then you're gonna click on the magic wand drop down menu and then you're gonna go on and click on speed ramp now you have four different boxes <clears throat> and you can set the boxes to have whatever percentage of speed you want it to be slowed down or speed up now it doesn't matter to you to me you know set it how you want to you may have to play around with it a little bit to figure out, you know, the exact perfect how you want it to look good. And then once we do that, you're going to export. I mean, pretty much play through that, make sure that sucker looks good, and then after that we're going to export that baby out as a H246 or whatever quality you want it to be. That's what I use. I use a master file, you know, you click on the little arrow and then you click on master file name it whatever you want to do it doesn't matter speed baby ramping speed baby baby speed ramping whatever it doesn't matter and then once you get through that you're going to click on the more settings up at the little top tab and then we're going to click on um, change your quality to 1080p 720 whatever you use 240 whatever suits you use that quality and then choose your codec if you want it to be dot h246 or quick time or you know I use web hosting so that way it's kinda fast doesn't take up a lot of space and I can still get a good quality and pick if I want it to be 1080p or 720 and I can upload it to YouTube pretty easily not not too hard at all so then once you export it let it sit export and then you're done put it wherever you want to put it and there you go upload it to YouTube whatever Vimeo wherever you want to upload it to go ahead have fun and guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Z-Man, your host today. YouTube from Z-Man Studios. And uh, hit that like button down below if this helped you out. Comment down below if there's a tutorial you want me to go over. Let me know down in the comments down below. Um, subscribe, guys. Hey, that's all you got to do is just hit that subscribe button. Just to, All it does is a little mouse stroke and a click, and you're done. And you're subscribed. And you get notified every time I upload a video. So that's a good thing you want to do. So that way, you don't have to keep searching for my videos. This is Z-Man signing out.